Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to talk about fake versus real low back or spine stem cell treatments, the top five things to know to make sure you don't get scammed. Given that I was the first physician on earth to put stem cells into the spine, I've seen a disturbing explosion in the last few years of chiropractic and other clinics offering stem cell treatments for many things, including low back pain and neck pain. And because of this, I put together this top five list of things you need to know to make sure you don't get scammed. So I'm gonna cover amniotic and cord stem cells, uh, the quickie bone marrow procedures that are out there, blind trigger point injections with stem cells, uh, the doctors who are claiming to regrow fully collapsed discs, and whether or not you should get your disc injected in the first place. So if the clinic is offering amniotic or cord stem cell treatments, this is a scam as the products being used contain no live or functional stem cells. We've done this testing. And again, if you hear this combination, amniotic stem cells, cord stem cells, run the other direction. If the clinic uses a quickie bone marrow procedure, i.e. a device that basically takes out the bone marrow, then the doctor just immediately re-injects it Again, your chances of success based on the research we have are less. And there's a stark difference between an advanced image guided spine injection and the trigger point injections being done with stem cells in many chiropractic offices. So a fluoro guided injection can address a lot of the deep issues with discs and facets, etc. But a blind in office trigger point injection doesn't get there. And we're seeing a lot of chiropractic offices claiming that they're doing spine stem cell procedures, but it's really just a trigger point injection, usually with dead amniotic tissue. So no stem cell treatment will regrow you a new disc if you have advanced degenerative disc disease. So if you've got a collapsed disc, it's not possible to regrow that disc. And if someone tells you it is, then run the other direction. And there's a question as to whether or not the disc should be injected in the first place, because many patients can be treated without going into the disc. So if they start out by saying you need a disc injection, you should probably get a second opinion. So do your homework and don't get scammed. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. For more information, see Regenix.com.